I'm Batman. One, two, is this on? What's up, people? This is the brand new Hot Toys 1 6 scale 89 Batman Deluxe figure just released here in August 2024. Irony being, it was pre ordered back in February 2023, and at the time the joke was made hey, this could kind of be a cool birthday present, you know, next year if it actually releases during its release window. We're exactly two days away from my birthday at the time we're recording this, so it couldn't have worked out any better. Who cares? Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what we're working with here. This one was dropped off by UPS earlier today. The shipping experience on this box appears to be somewhat decent overall. I'm not seeing any like crazy holes or excessive damage or anything like that. Nothing like what we've had in the past. I had a video in the past where the shipping box was like completely penetrated by something. Luckily the product box was fine. So here I'm hoping for the exact same thing. And they even gave us these nifty plastic here to lift this thing off. Ah, uh, there's that anticipation again. Nice and slow. Success! As always, very carefully with the box cutter. I thought about using other utensils to actually open the product once I get the shipping box out of the way, but this thing just works so well. It makes it virtually seamless in most cases. There we are. Yeah. Check out the artwork on that box. It's pretty badass. Digging that already. How did we do down here? Well, let's see, of course. UPS coming through in spades like they usually do. You can never count on a flawless delivery from them. I mean, I, I guess in today's day and age, I should just be happy I got it, period, with the way things go anymore. Anytime I order something from any company, I'm almost tempted to drive across the country and pick it up my damn self. I don't trust any shipper at this point. Except maybe DHL. Seem to always have a professional experience with them. But anyway, it's not like I bought this to hoard it for 10 years and sell it. Got it to actually enjoy it. Check those corners. <laughs> nice and easy. How did this box fare, I wonder? Ooh. Still got some bullshit over here, but for the most part, I guess it turned out alright. Luckily I don't see any damage here, anywhere across this cover, so the figure should be 100% safe. All good. Alright, let's get him out. Trying to get crafty. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Well, I like the artwork on the box here. Everything's dark like it should be. Classic Tim Burton style. Now, this could totally just be me. This may just be a Virgoism hard at work here. Is it just me, or does there seem to be a little bit of excessive space between the B? And the rest of the letters. What do you think? Looks like this thing just lifts right on. Ah, yes it does. Right. Let's take a look at this first since it's like practically right here. Yes. Oh good. Everything's already attached. Almost. Looks like the, uh, the piece that acts as the stand right here is has been separately placed. Thankfully not sold separately. This thing was expensive enough on its own. Right. 
This is the stand for the little diorama piece here. I'm assuming that goes right here. Snaps right in place. And we've got another little piece here. Huh. So this thing goes right here. I believe this thing spins like all the way around. Yeah, so you can pose this however you want. It's pretty cool. And I think you can take this thing off altogether. Yep, if wish. <laughs> so, probably a better shot of him and better lighting. Pretty straightforward. And we've got a load of accessories here. Never mind how awesome the figure is. But there's different face plates, which are interchangeable. And look at all the cool gadgets from the 89 film there. <laughs> they even put Vicky Vale's white high heel slipper in there. Where it falls off when Joker's dragging her ass up the cathedral. Yeah, it's the little things. And truth be told, I, I'm not a huge superhero movie fan. Especially the ones coming out today. Just way too much CGI for me. I, I can't suspend disbelief. But I do like Tim Burton's Batman. As well as the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Those are pretty much my jam. So when I saw this thing go up for pre-order, it was pretty much a no-brainer. I love Michael Keaton's Batman. By far and away, my favorite Batman ever. And it's not even close. You know, and I've seen The Dark Knight, and that was a cool movie, don't get me wrong. Um, but uh, I'm just very partial to Tim Burton's 89 version. Let's get a look at the man here. Very freaking cool. Like I can see it. <laughs> I can't see it at all, but I know it is. I've seen all the pictures. And I got a glimpse of him when he was sitting in the plastic there. So I know it's the real deal. And the debate rages on for years amongst the fan base who portrayed the best Batman, starting with... Well, a lot of people consider Adam West kind of starts with him, even though he wasn't the first who portrayed Batman on screen. But usually boils down to Adam West, Michael Keaton, or Christian Bale. I, I don't think uh, Batfleck <laughs> is really in the conversation amongst serious fans, but uh, you know, I could be wrong. I don't really participate in it because I don't need to debate it. I know who my favorite Batman is, and you're looking at him 100%. I am a Michael Keaton mark going all the way back to the good old days. The movies I've sat through that he's been in just because he's there. I mean, I even watched a movie about freaking McDonald's because <laughs> Michael Keaton was in it. And somehow he made it interesting. So, as a kid, when I heard he was going to be Batman, I was not one of the angry people who sent letters to Warner Brothers in protest. People couldn't imagine that he was going to make a good Batman. But, uh,. Yeah, that was proven wrong right quick. But anyway, about the figure itself. Yeah, it has a really nice feel to it. Many points of articulation. There's a lot of ways you can pose on the different things you can do here. Uh, the cape is made by really nice fabric. Like it almost has a, uh, almost like a velvet kind of feel to it. And the cowl is textured like it was in the film as well. You can feel that. Uh, I'm sure you can see it in different lighting. And of course the signature 89 emblem. Yeah. Put some blue fabric down here so that these accessories will pop some. This black on black. Doesn't matter what kind of lighting you have, it just wasn't really working. So got a better backdrop here to kind of highlight some of the features. The Hot Toys 89 Batman figure comes with all you see here. Got an array of different hands, um, a couple of which are for these bars that they sent, which goes into the cape, which allows you to get that uh, signature 89 pose, which we'll do here in just a bit. 
comes with batarang, um, some smoke bombs, comes with the stars. Um, these are uh, ball joints for the hands. Bomb detonator. This is the remote for the Batmobile. And this is for the harpoon slash hook shot. And the secondary piece that goes with it. And the other faces, face plates that it comes with. That one's really cool. I'm not really high about on that one. We'll, we'll pop it in and get a look at it here in a minute, but in any shot of that one I've seen, I don't know, it just reminds me of Butthead or something. But uh, we'll take a look at that. Different hands here. Um, this is the uh, punch shield that we see in the one scene. call that's for the zip line you know the where does he get those wonderful toys obviously the batarang and then this piece here this helps you control the eyes you can actually adjust the eyes in the figure up here and I'm gonna mess around with that here in a minute as well so if you want to change the way he's looking if you want to pose him at an angle you can adjust the eyes to kind of be looking directly at the camera from whichever angle you want so I was looking over the instruction sheet that this thing came with because I was trying to see if they had any recommendations on how to remove this garbage underneath the utility belt. I'm sure you saw that in the opening shot. Um, this, it had this weird like almost paper mache tissue like all around the utility belt, all around his back. And there was no clear way of getting it off. Like I tried to kind of pull at it at certain pieces and like it just kept ripping off so I ended up having to take a pair of tweezers and uh, kind of squeezed it together a little bit and while I was tugging on it and finally I got it out of there I couldn't see anywhere on this sheet where that utility belt comes off so I wasn't gonna try to like take it off and, and ruin the figure um, but uh, yeah I don't know what the need for that was I mean unless it was some kind of protective covering for shipping so the utility belt didn't damage the suit in some way, but uh, that was aggravating. Any of you guys who have got this figure, if you're running into that problem and you don't know how to get that crap off, I just used a basic pair of tweezers and took my time and kind of got it going and then was able to finally pull it all out of there. I mean, just a, a, to me, a, a totally unnecessary thing that they've got going on there with that caused way more aggravation than it was worth. Let's pop this headpiece off and... See if we can get these other face plates on. Ah, there we are. <laughs> Having some problems there, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> this is the lever that not only controls the eyes, but you use this to pop off the face plate as well. So, anybody out there, if you got this figure, if you're wondering what this is for, each eye kind of has like a button or like a little socket that this piece will fit sort of kind of into and you can apply a little bit of pressure and you can change the position of the eyes so I will attempt to do this right now this is the way he's looking straight on at the moment and see if I can turn him and have his eyes still looking forward so yep. <laughs> Looking like HB Gay now. Yeah, it is kind of a touchy operation. This isn't something that I'm going to be doing often, I can already tell. Just for the sake of the video, I'll change these one good time. Well, that looks somewhat natural. Okay, so. Let's see where he's looking there. And. If we turn him ever so slightly, he ought to be facing the camera now. So, there's different options, you know, whichever way you want to pose them. You can change those eyes up, and uh, it's a pretty cool feature. Although, like I said, it is a rather touchy operation. There's also a button right here. It's actually a lot easier to get to. This is the thing that you push on in order to push that faceplate out of there. So, we're going to come in here and touch. Wow. Damn, that was easy. Did you see that? Look at that. <laughs> Alright, so the stock 
faceplate is out. And I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the way. I'm going to put the one in that I don't like. Like I said, I, I just anytime I see it, I'm just like, huh, yeah, it's not, uh, not for me. All right, so any of you 80s kids, or if you grew up in the 90s, you remember Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> does, does that remind you of anyone, or is that just me? Do you see it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I can't remember one scene from the 89 film where he's doing that. It, it's just such a weird, awkward expression that uh, I'm not entirely comfortable with. So he is not going to be on display using that piece. I guarantee you that. Hey, baby. <laughs> Wanna wrestle? Now, if you want to pop the really super cool faceplate on him. Whew. Man, he almost landed in the whiskey. This is the one that I remember seeing in the prototype. Now, this is cool. This is straight up Michael Keaton. Of course, they all are. But this one in particular really captures the, uh, the whole cathedral sequence. I believe that's where that expression's from, if I remember right. Yeah. See, that's just proper. That is Keaton Batman, straight up. The other one was too, but I mean, when I think about the film, this is, this is the expression I always imagine. I think they nailed that skull pretty damn accurately. So that's how you change out his faceplate and adjust his eyes. For those of you who are stickler for those details, it's not something I'm going to be doing on a regular basis. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Alright, now, let's try to get this back on without it being screwed up. I'll hold that down right here. So are we going to fill this pot back in place? Ah, we did! <laughs> well, okay. I gotta tell you, I'm having a heck of a time trying to get him to stand up on his own. Luckily, that won't be a problem with the diorama piece over there, but uh, if I was just going to have him standing around, like, I'd probably have to slide a coin or something up under his heel back here. Yeah, I'm digging this diorama base here. This is the deluxe version, of course. This is how they get you to spend more money. But in this case, really cool addition. Like, this is how the figure's going to be displayed for sure. And uh, I like the gargoyle for... <laughs> Of course, that always reminds me of the Jack scene. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Speaking of Jack, oh, you talk about something I'm regretting right now. Mm. A good buddy of mine who's probably going to be watching this video had a chance to buy the original Hot Toys Jack Nicholson Joker from him about 10 years ago, and I turned it down. I don't remember why at the time. I, I may have had extra funds going toward another project or something. Now I'm really wishing I would have picked that up from him, because that would be perfect, especially with this, uh, this backdrop. So I wanted to show this, if you have this figure and you have any questions, the original hands, you just get a good grip around his forearm here and you can pop those off, and these are the ball joints, and they actually did send extra ones. If you do accidentally break these, there's two extra ones, which is very nice. The hands that we're going to be using for the cape spot here are these right here. I believe these are the ones that these uh, little sticks fit into. Line it up straight on. Watch the gauntlets like the... Almost like shark fins down here. Press inward. Okay. All right, so it wasn't too bad. And on the cape here, the cape has designated spots that these sticks go into. You see right here, we've got a little sliver. And over on the other side, you'll find the exact same mark. So for the signature pose, I'm going to slide this in. Try to anyway. Hold on. 
go. And the same thing on this side. Alright. That's probably a bit more accurate. Man, you were doing so well. Come on. Up. Down. Oops. Man, how big is that girl's foot? That looks like it's about a size 17. <laughs> you know what? Let's take a look at that real quick. <laughs> Just for comparison's sake, how does this thing stack up against Batman's boot here? Does that chick have a big ass foot or what? Alright, so the magnet does work. That's good to know. Man, you're all exposed and shit, homie. Alright, so that's good. We have success there. This is the kind of quality you come to expect from Hot Toys. There's a lot of attention to detail here, like a lot of intricate stuff. Like this uh, Batmobile remote. Uh, that is hilarious that that's even in there. I mean, I'm glad it is in there. It makes sense. It's just, you know... It, it just looks like such a... Like, if you didn't know the film, it looks like such an irrelevant piece. Like, you wouldn't even know what it's for. But yeah, that's where he's like... Stop. <laughs> Funny thing about this whole lot here is the stars. Now, I, I, I could be showing my age here, my damn old ass memory, but I don't remember him using stars in the movie. Maybe he did at some point, but as of right now, I'm having trouble remembering what scene those were used in. But uh, I'm sure they were somewhere. I mean, otherwise they wouldn't be included here, right? And this has been a quick look at the brand new Hot Toys 1-6 scale 89 Batman Deluxe figure. This is the 2024 version, a damn fine sculpt of Michael Keaton. Everything seems accurate to me from the suit, all the way from the cowl to the symbol, down to the boots. Love the deluxe version diorama here that's been included. All the accessories are on point, and I'm satisfied. It's a hell of a birthday present, and I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Everybody have a good day, and as the kids say, we will see you in the next one.